Boxing King Media powered by BYD Gideon. We talked about this a couple of months back and it's finally happened. You've made your professional boxing debut. You've got your amateur coach, uh, Paul, with you here today as well. So just tell me initially the nerves, start of the day today, what, what was you kind of experiencing? You know, to, coming into this, I'll be honest, there weren't really no nerves. Um, I kind of felt cold, just no emotion, just I had a job to do. And I went out there and did the job, you know, and that was to get the victory. I've never seen someone pray as much as I've seen you pray before the fight, in the changing rooms, in the, uh, in, in the ring, before, after. Uh, did you kind of, was that natural or did you plan to do that? That's, not, that's natural, you know, because, you know, without, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a religious guy, so without God, I couldn't do what I'm doing today, you know. He's the one that gives me strength. He's the one that gives me the confidence to go out there and do what I have to do. So this fight is all glory to God, man. Good stuff. And I know Curtis is your uh, professional trainer, but you got your old amateur coach here, Paul, here today. Where, where do you come from? From Doncaster. Yeah, yeah, from Doncaster. So, uh, Doncaster uh, Plant Works, amateur boxing club, yeah. How was that for you watching uh, Gideon fight as a professional tonight? Lovely to see him coming from a young 11, 12 year old. Uh, and make his debut is absolutely brilliant with Curtis. Uh, doing a good job of him now. Uh, what did you make of his performance and the way he handled the occasion? Uh, cool. He, he handled it cool. He, he stayed safe uh, and uh, and got the win, which is, is what he needed to do. Uh, he didn't need to do anything heroic or anything like that. Go out to batter the lad. He just needed to go out, look after himself, and make sure he did the job. Any um, improvements, things he could work on? No, I, I think that it will come with uh, more of his training, what he's doing, uh, and that he, he starts doing a lot more work in there that we know that he can do. It's there waiting to, to just open up and do. Um, I'm going to come back to you, Gids. Uh, what I liked about it was that the ring walk, he came out to gigs talking the hardest. Yeah. Obviously, I had to come out to gigs. In fact, Curtis has some picked that for me, so shout out to Kyle for picking that song. Um, it's like the British UK anthem, isn't it? But, came out to gigs what a vibe man i thought your fan base looked like a lot of college students yeah all my college guys you know i just want to say a big thank you for all of you for coming out you know spending all your money not just college but people i work with jd uh, shout out to jd and doncaster i work at thank you for all coming down and i hope to see you guys there again what's the biggest criticism you give give yourself from tonight That's not really for me to say, that's more for... What, what did you feel like? You know, you think you could have done better? Oh, I could have done better. Um, knock him out. <laughs> knock him out. Uh, but at the end of the day, we got the win. So that's, that's all that matters. Tomorrow, we'll sit down and talk about what we got to do better. But for now, we enjoy the win and see where we go from there. What did you do good today? What did I do good today? For me, I think I kept calm. I got hit a few times, but I kept calm. You know, I, I listen to my coach. That's one thing I struggle with, you know. I'm always, you know, erratic in the corner, you know. But I felt I, I kept calm and did what I had to do and I got the job done. Okay. I'm going to let uh, uh, your, uh, Paul have the final word. Paul, how far can this young man go? You've obviously been in boxing a long time, you know. Where can he see his future? He, he can get to the top. Yeah, he can do it. Yeah. And uh, with his uh, coach uh, and him together, they can, they can get there, definitely. Any, any final bits of advice you'd give him? Drop him some wisdom, some knowledge from your experience in life and boxing? I, I don't have to say get training because he gets training every day. He's, he's a good lad in the gym, you know. Uh, he'll not stop uh, boxing ever. And uh, carry on with what you're doing. Go forward. I thought you might tell him to stay away from the nightclubs, the women, the booze, all that he kind of stuff. He won't be doing that. He won't be doing that. My dad's right there. I can see he's, 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 he's no, not liking no, that. But. No, he'll never be doing that. Yeah. He's not brought up to do that. He's a good family. Yeah. Uh, Good stuff. Uh, pleasure speaking to you, and uh, I'm glad I was here for your debut. So we look forward to seeing you at next time, and uh, all the best, man. Yeah, appreciate it. Once again, I want to thank this man here, because without him, uh, none of this would have been possible. I want to thank Curtis as well for taking me in for training me and helping me improve, you know. So thank you for everyone for coming out and I hope to see you guys soon. Top man, Gids, thank you and uh, congrats.